We all want connection, a purpose to be known. Hi, my Linda. Why do you like powering the print? Because it's friggin' awesome. RailNet was uh, the very first place for me to work at because I was just a new guy, didn't really know anybody all that well. I met some people, shook hands with them, and then I became friends with them after I met them and shook hands with them. Do you like t-shirts? Yes, I do. Screen printed, just not, not blank. Screen printed. What does powering the print and t-shirts have to do with becoming known? Ryonet was built from garage band screen printers, four screen printers, and has turned into one of the largest suppliers in the industry through its website, ScreenPrinting.com. Its 60 plus team members located in Washington and Texas work hard every day, powering the print for thousands of aspiring print shops worldwide. If anyone would need equipment or product to start or grow a screen printing shop, Ryonet has it. And most of that equipment is made right here in Vancouver, Washington, USA. So what's really nice about Ryan is we have the full package deal. Basically everything you would need to screen print can leave this facility from inks to screens to chemicals to the scrub pads and then all the way up to the equipment. So in Ryanette's manufacturing division, we're a really unique company in the fact that we manufacture it all the way through the process. So we start with the raw materials and we are either going to manufacture it through a fabrication process or machining process, welding, bending of metal, all kinds of processes go on in this uh, area. But that's where it starts in order to build a good press, you need good parts. So let's see what the assembly team's doing. So over here is our assembly team. Now they've got all our parts and they're ready to build the presses from beginning to end. They're gonna check, build sub-assemblies. Over there you've got a fellow Ridge building the final Riley press. He's gonna calibrate it, make sure it's good to go, tear it apart, create it up, and send it off to our customer. Well, today I'm working on kits, the new kit, the numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Plastic bag. Put a label on the Ziploc bag. And then I put it with this one where the other ones go. My name is Ashton Steele. I work for Trillium Employment Services and I am an assistant program manager. It's a dual role, so part of it is a management position. The other half of it is providing direct support to caseload of folks that I work with. Some of those folks that work here at Ryonet being Chris and Jesse. Sweep, shred, pick out the trash. Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. When a person gets their first job, it, I mean, we all have that experience of having your first job. It changes so much about our lives. It changes the network that we have access to, whether it, it's a professional network, but a lot of times we go to work and we, we build personal relationships with people that we keep in touch with outside of work as well. We all have tasks that we don't like in our jobs, but we all have tasks that we absolutely love and we own and it fuels us every day of, I'm getting up, I'm going to work, I'm gonna do that thing that fills up my cup and I'm gonna do it again and again and again because that gives me self-determination and it gives me confidence in everyday life. They learn to build connections that they can then translate out into the community they learn to have more self-awareness for within opportunities that they're not necessarily granted the opportunity to have, that they can now go, oh, I, I can do this, I can do hard things. And they'll go out and they'll do other hard things as a result and they're contributing in a lot of different ways in their community. My team is a good, good help to me because I've always liked helping my friends and coworkers out because like I said before, if, I, if they need my help, I just go over to him or her if they need my help. And once, once I'm done helping, 
with him or her. I just go back to where I left off. You know, it's just part of the job. When we brought on Chris in 2015, there were a couple concerns. You know, we just, safety being number one, we want to make sure that um, he understood how to be safe in the manufacturing environment. We weren't honestly sure how that was all going to play out. So we made sure to put him in some entry level positions and he's worked his way up. And now he's a very valuable uh, member of our team in the hard work hitting department. He found his place and he's doing amazing. I was kind of nervous from the very beginning because I was just a new guy. Nobody didn't know me from the start or from the beginning. Uh, the way that we make partnerships work is that it's like two sides of a coin. So one side is that we get to know the individual that we're serving. We get to know their strengths, their gifts, capacities, their passions, what works for them, what doesn't work for them. Then we approach the business and we say, hey, we've got this person. They're really good at this, this and this. They're looking to work this number of hours per week. It would be best if it was in the afternoon. Do you have anything that would work within that realm? So when we go into a business, we want to make sure that this is a good fit for that individual. We want to make sure that it's the right environment for them. We're also getting to know the things that don't work for them, things that could be hazardous for them, things that wouldn't be a great fit for them. We're representing the individual that we're serving, and we're also talking to that new perspective business about any concerns or any barriers that could be in place for them to open their minds to having this, this type of system in their workplace. What's your favorite part about working at Atlantic? I love the game. You do? You love the game? Yeah. What, is, what do you like about the game? They, the game rocks, being the mayor, being the rock star badass mayor. Okay, wait a minute. How did you become the rock star badass mayor? You guys voted, voted to have me become the mayor. What does the mayor do? Goes around, makes the round, says hi to people, make sure everybody's doing their job. What, how does that make you feel to be the mayor? Terrific. Both Jesse and Chris actually add a lot of value to this team. The funnest part of Ryan is doing Cyber Day Monday. Even with all the fun, sometimes things happen that are out of our control. Yes, I missed everybody while I was, was gone when the coronavirus hit last year. Not good, not good at all. But I did it because I didn't wanna get the COVID. When you start at Ryanet, you get a squeegee. But just two weeks into COVID, it felt like that scene from the Avengers where half the world disappeared. All of these squeegees were left behind in one Black Friday. After over 30% of the team had left, the team that was remaining got together, and with them was Chris. He wanted to stay, even though he was actually leaving. He wanted to say goodbye to the team and give them a word of encouragement. There wasn't a dry eye. But as many of us found out during COVID, when a door closes, a window opens, and guess who walked right back through that window first? What do we got there, Tim? We've got team member squeegees. Where's Chris is at? Chris has got to be in here. Yes, there it is. You excited? Yes, sir. All right, put it back up on the wall. All right, put it back on the wall. Applause, woo, cheers. Nice, that's awesome, man, high five. As time passed, the Ryanet team continued to succeed on the road to recovery. And when it was safe, Jesse was also able to come back. What did it feel like to come back? It feels really high voltage rock and roll, baby, yeah! We all know that as humans, we work best when we're together, struggle together, and reach together. But what is little known is how much better it could be if we just reached out a little farther together.
less it makes sense the more we try to be closer to being known. What's neat about Chris and Jesse is they just really bring this kind of family feel to the organization, and I think that um, it's the camaraderie, the friendship, the care. I want to even venture into love. You know, it's very um, inclusive. So why don't we open up our hearts and those windows and make it known because we can all make the world better together. What does it mean for you to get the award? I thank you all for all the support you've all given me over the years and I, I appreciate all your help and support. That's awesome, Chris. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>